Today, Lee and I are going to teach you how to shop for a refrigerator. That's right, hi Gentry. You know a refrigerator is one of the most important appliances in your kitchen, so what do you want it to do? Well, I think I, like most people, just want it to keep my food cold. Oh, okay, so like a styrofoam cooler, that'll keep it cold. Okay, well that doesn't look very sturdy, and I would also like it to be just a little bit bigger. Oh, maybe a red igloo cooler. It's even got a drain plug for convenience. Yeah, and speaking of convenience, I could just buy bags of ice every single day because I also want it to freeze my food. Oh, well, maybe a, like a Yeti cooler, you know, they're even more durable. You could stack and have different compartments even. All right, Lee, I get your point. I need to be more specific. Well, and that is my point. A refrigerator is a very important appliance in your home, and people come into the store every day really with not much of a clue of what they want. So it's very important to, uh, to start with a measurement. Absolutely, and I remember our segments we did on measurements. If you want to refer back to that, it's still at the website, hauntappliance.com. You've got to measure in eight places because not all cabinets are square. So you want to measure the floor front to back, you want to measure counter front to back, height front to back, and top front to back. And take a picture. Oh, that's a great idea. Selfies are okay. <laughs> Selfies are always okay. Most of us have a camera on our cell phone, so bring that in. Let Han check it out so they really know what you're working with. So let's talk a little bit about size. Okay. Um, you know, some refrigerators or kitchens have uh, center islands now, mm -hmm. and you need a counter depth, a shallow depth, so you can actually get between the refrigerator and the counter and, uh, and, and open the door. Right, and we've talked a lot. That's a lot of information, and we haven't even touched on style yet, like the fully integrated, panel-ready, built-ins. They're beautiful. Oh, that's right. And you know, there's different options. You can get the freezer on the top, you can get the freezer on the side, you can get the freezer on the bottom, you can get French doors. Uh-huh, let's talk about the integrated part. Uh, patience. You know, the freezer on the top, the old style, it's, uh, you know, it certainly works, keeps the food cold, but there's not very many options, but it is less expensive. Mm -hmm. Then there's the freezer on the side. Well, the side-by-sides give you ice and water in the door, water filtration, larger capacity, but the compartments are really, really narrow. It's hard to store bulky items like frozen foods. Right, and I always think about my parents in insta instances like this because they have a lot of frozen meat. A refrigerator like that makes it a little bit difficult when you've got all that meat, bulky food, just like you said. That's right. That's why the bottom freezers have become much more popular. Right. It's like having a chest freezer. You've got plenty of room for bulky frozen items and you've got nice wide shelves so you can store party trays. Right, and again, I'm assuming that I'm like most people, but I'm gonna be in my refrigerator five times more than I'm gonna be in my freezer and I love how you can just open them up and everything's right there. You know, it's kind of hard to visualize that. Let's go down to the store so we can show the people. Great idea. Okay, so here we are in refrigerators, and I gotta say, Lee, this one really brings me back. This reminds me of my college days. This is what I had in my apartment. The entry-level refrigerator, freezer on the top. Right, basic Little model. Little refrigerator down below, very economical, and up until 40 years ago, this is pretty much the only choice you had. Yep, and depending on your needs, it might still be perfect for you. However, people want more features. Right. They want ice and water in the door, they want water filtration, and we find that a lot in the side-by-sides, but... We're talking about the problem we had earlier. See how narrow the freezer is? If you've got a lot of meats that you're trying to freeze, this might not be the option for you because it's pretty tight in there. Really tough to get bulky frozen items in. And the refrigerator space is very narrow too. It's very hard to get big platters in. So... We have more options, right? That's right. <laughs> we get into the bottom freezer category because nice wide shelves in the refrigerator. You can put party trays in and have plenty of room down below. If this is like a chest freezer. Plenty of room for bulky frozen items. And we talk about the fact that a lot of people get the French doors confused because they think if there's a freezer on the bottom, then it's a French door. But this is not a French door. That's right but it still has the freezer on the bottom. So you've got the advantage of the wide shelves, you've got the advantage of the bulk storage, but it's a single door and a little less expensive. Now this one is all about options, right? That's right. You've got ice and water in the door, you've got the French door up above, and you've got a multi-purpose shelf. You can change the temperature in here, and a lot of people really like this, especially for the kids. They're getting in the freezer for popsicles, and the parents don't want them around everything else, so give the kids the little drawer, right? That's right, and there are several different models of this. Some, this is going to be all refrigerator. Some, it's going to be freezer, but you've got to be careful and ask because different brands have different options. This, though, is 
all freezer all the time. But there's one new one out. I see one over there that looks like it's got a lot of options as well. This is our new 32 cubic foot multi-use refrigerator. The top is set up like a French door. Right. A nice wide shelf. Still got ice and water in the door. This is always a freezer, but this compartment you can adjust and make it a freezer or a refrigerator, depending on your needs or the time of the year. Plus, it's 32 cubic feet. This one's a big one. Once again, this is why we're always talking about measuring and taking pictures because if you get this one, you're going to be building the kitchen around it, right? Just about. Not only it, now, it's the same width, 36 inch, but it's a little taller and it's much deeper. In fact, there are some doorways this won't go through, so please measure. There you go. And like we always say, getting a refrigerator, picking out something like this, it's up to you. Your household, your options, meeting your needs. So hopefully we've given you a little bit of guidance for the next time you purchase your refrigerator. For the entire series on how to shop, make sure you visit Haunt Appliance Warehouse's website, hauntappliance.com.